It's Horror Hero Figs. We have a scary one in store for you today. You're getting the mixed breed of it all. You're getting Undertaker. You're getting Michael Myers. We're finding out if the Wyatt family, if they can hold the candle right here to the Devil's Rejects. Bray Wyatt and his cult might have a monster among men, but the Devil's Rejects, the house of a thousand corpses, they have tiny look at the scale of this giant man like you put braun Strowman right here this six foot eight monster side by side with him it ain't happening don't be fooled by the name just because it's the opposite of what he is dude he's got so much in store for you and if this was ever to occur man i mean obviously it can't R.I.P. It would be awesome. Bray Wyatt, he would not only have to go back to the olden days and bring these together to their full potential, but he'd also have to bring a little extra with The Fiend. That's the only way that I see this even being a fair fight. The Fiend would have to be incorporated into this, not just regular Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. Now, The Fiend, this is awesome, dude. You know we're going to get this 2019. No, actually, it might be 2020. It's going to have to occur sometime next year because it seems like the Whatever storyline they have right here for The Fiend, it's already been written in stone. And we will talk about that upcoming pay-per-view here. So turn on that notification bell because we know that Dead Man is going to bring it right here. Undertaker, he's going to have to go back to the old-fashioned way that he used to use prior to having any of his matches. He's going to have to use his technique, his mind games. Bray Wyatt's got him too, though. As you can see right now, they're both kind of playing it out. You got Fiend over here holding his urn, and then you got the Dead Man holding Bray Wyatt's head wait where is it it's right here man look at that yeah fight another epic battle that would be awesome to see it would be the titan joker versus the victimizer the vindicator the violator but as you can see right now he has evolved completely he went from regular joe schmo clown all the way to his true demon self look at the scale the size the epic proportion of this battle it would be one for the ages so many cool fantasy bouts that you can have with a lot of these characters but one of the ultimate clowns apart from that pennywise yeah that one's got great history but the most recent right here we look we've had a beast slayer we've had a king slayer but now you're gonna need a clown slayer now would seth rollins would he fit that ah geez man look it's gonna be one of those things that it would be very similar to hell in a cell he would have to overcome his darkest darkest fears and that's the whole thing with pennywise like in order to truly defeat pennywise you need to go past you need to look beyond as to what he's presenting to you whether it's little hands coming out of his mouth or a giant freaking spider i got a lot of faith in you rollins let's see what he can do one that you can't rely on is Freddy Krueger. This man manages to sneak into your dreams. You better start running, bro. Edward Scissorhands, though, he'd have your back. I think the Clash of the Claws right here, it's got to happen, dude. Fantasy warfare right here at its best. But who would come out victorious? We got one claw as opposed to two claws. One thing that I will say right here about Edward Scissorhands is this guy, he knows how to use those, man. The talented ability that this guy possesses, it is phenomenal. So his, knowing that alone i think freddy krueger he would have his work cut off for him literally cut off for him die freddy die dominic 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 this is what happens when you go to those high school parties you follow the wrong crowd you step into the wrong room ray mysterio he went in there right he went to the party he says so dominic what did i tell you i told you to stay home instead you're over here with Ghostface, and now you got yourself into some serious trouble so not only did dom get into a predicament that he can't get himself out of but later ray ray he also got slashed up we need to call the big boy man we need his backup again came the last guess you helped him out with lesnar how about you help him out with ghostface get it boy the level of confusion has elevated to an all-time high i think the clown over here thinking that pennywise is his dad or it just might be one of those scenarios where the man just wants a balloon don't the clown don't look too much into it man he just wants to go out have a good time but is pennywise having a good time i don't think so <laughs> He's usually the one bringing the fear. But in this scenario, we got Dink the Clown scaring the crap out of Pennywise. The mummy has made a return. He has come back after all those years. I mean, you're talking about thousands and thousands of years. But for what? To partake in a WHF action figure horror setup? Uh-uh. No. He wants to talk to Jinder Mahal. He wants to have a long talk with the modern-day Maharaja and find out, bro, why you been using up all his bandages, man? He's always heavy taping 
up them knees. I'll tell you why. The modern day Maharaja, he's got too much muscle, not enough bone structure to support all them roids. And that's why Vinny loves it. He loves it. He'll tell you for days on end, Maharaja, I want to put you back into the WWE title picture. And that's where Michael Myers, this is where he comes into play. He's tired of it. He's sick and tired of Vince McMahon doing all this bad booking, putting the wrong people into the main event. So now you're going to get it, Vinny. Get it. Get it, Michael. You know what's not bad booking? Sting versus the Crow. The OG versus the man that was hanging up on those rafters for all those years and then decided to come down. He came down with his bat. He captured the belt. Now he's calling out Crow. He says, bro, you're wearing my face paint. You got it wrong, Sting. I think you're wearing his face paint because I believe Crow originated and then Sting's like, you know, that's a great idea, man. That surfer stuff, it ain't working for me, so I'm going to bring it to you. We got bat, guitar, who's coming out ahead? Let's find out. Oh, solid bat right to the face. Who let the wolf out? Woof, 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 woof. Who let the wolf out? Big Red Machine did. He put him out. He, I think he was waiting about 20 minutes. He was doing his thing out in the backyard. He waited too long. It got below freezing temperature. I think it was about 26 degrees. And this is where he just got so upset. He's like, you put me out, bro. You forgot to bring me back in. So now I'm going from the top. All the way through the announcer table. Let's go to the backstage area. You've been drinking all the blood. Blah, blah, blah. Hold on. Does he say blah, blah, blah? You guys, I've been watching Hotel Transylvania lately. The first one. The second one. I've been on a trilogy whole feel as of late with Count Chocula. <laughs> That, you know, he does says it. I mean, there's times when he doesn't mean to say it or they put him up against the wall and he accidentally says it because he says, I never say blah, blah, blah. That's besides the point, though, because Gangrel, he's been dipping into the juice, man. He went into the kitchen. He drank his favorite cup. I mean, he was saving it. Like, he had it in store for about two, three months, waiting for it just to purify and get to its full potential. And Gangrel, he just walked in there, man. He says, man, was I thirsty this morning. Who finished all the OJ, you went into the fridge, got the man's favorite drink, had a sip, and now he's facing the wrath. But so will Braun Strowman. He was on the phone with Bray Wyatt. They were catching up. They're best buds. But Bray, he didn't tell him that there was a third person. It was a three-way call. Frankenstein was also on the line. He didn't say a single word. Braun Strowman, he was saying, you know what, Bray? I am still one of the best. I am the ultimate monster. And there's where Frankenstein chimed in. He says, bro, did you go to the university? What university? I'm talking about the university of shut your mouth. <laughs> Over here, Leatherface has found the ultimate recipe. He was on the Food Network. He was watching. He was binge watching for hours on end, and he found out that yeah, faces work pretty good, right? For putting it on over your head. Thing is, though, is that if you want to make the ultimate stew, I mean, the guy is a cannibalist, right? So the, in order for him to get his protein intake, he needs to go above and beyond. And that's what he's doing. Man Hardy's like, yes, you're going to get the ultimate deletion. Let's come around the corner because there is still so much to cover over here. Not only have we crowned a new 24-7 champ, but we also have a Viper going one-on-one -on -one against the Predator, the Jungle Predator. Randy Orton, dude, you might be a legend killer. You might have eliminated a lot of legends in your days, but there is one that you'll never be able to overcome, and that's the Predator right there. Trick or treat, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. Demo Gorgon will eat your face entirely. Blah, blah. That's what happens, dude. You go trick or treating. You don't bring your big brother or big sister or your parents. You said, I'm going to go get candy on my own. <laughs> Nicholas, not only have you done us wrong with that tag team title, but now you're feeling the wrath of the Demo Gorgon. Eat it. It's a little snackums. The heck is wrong with you, Hero Figs? You're feeding the Demo Gorgon? You're feeding them kids? Nicholas, you should have just gone to the Big Dog. Yo, Big Dog, you want to take me trick-or-treating? I can't. Why not? Because I'm too busy over here with Jason. Stab mug. Stab that mug. <laughs> this was the setup, dude. This was epic. Not only did we find out who was the ultimate monster, who's still the Big Dog reigning supreme in the WHF, WWE slash horror figure collection, we also crowned a new champ, and it might not last. It might only be 15 minutes, and then our truth will become 21, 22. Is it 22? I, I, I lost count a long time ago. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.